Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Eric here from Black Market Exchange. I know you get your cup of coffee heading into work right now. And it's time for you to get your stock market fixed right here on Market Mondays. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to this week's Market Mondays. Today is August 3rd. Um, yes, we're starting off this month with some great topics. We're going to be discussing a company that you probably see every day but didn't even know it existed. What big things is happening at Apple once again? And then what's going on with the financial industry in terms of these interest rates that may go up due to the Federal Reserve? We also want to let you know that we will be releasing our Pin Consulting Services this week. Stay tuned for some updates with that. Make sure to follow us on um, Instagram at Black underscore Market underscore Exchange, Twitter at BMX underscore, and like us on Facebook. Just search for Black Market Exchange and you'll be in the know of what's going on. And make sure to sign up for our email list. You can just go to our website at www.thebmex.com and you can join our email list to stay up news with updates, news, what's happening at BMX as well as in the stock market. First up is a company that you're probably familiar with their products, but not the name, and that's Outer Wall, with ticker symbol O-U-T-R. They recently hired on a new CEO who used to be the CEO of Clearwater that's actually owned by Sprint. Now, if you aren't familiar with the name Outer Wall, Outer Wall actually owns Redbox and Coinstar. And of course, many of you know of Redbox for the DVD services, but if you aren't familiar with Coinstar, just think about when you go to the grocery store and they have those machines where you take your change and turn it into cash. That's actually Coinstar, and they're owned by the same company as Redbox. Now, Redbox seems to be the, um, the meat of Outer Wall's revenues in terms of their profit. However, it's taken a hit due to your Netflix and your Amazons out there with their movie streaming services. So it's interesting to see what's going to happen with this new CEO and turning things around over at Outer Wall. Now the stock is up 52% in the past three years and it's up 27% in the past year. Are you in need of an event but don't know where to get started or how to carry it through? Make sure to check out Amplified Events at www.amplified-events.com and they'll be able to take their six-point action plan to assess, create, team build, itinerary development, optimize, and nail your event so it's a success with your family and friends. Make sure to check them out. That's www.amplified-events.com and get your free consultation today. Next up is tech giant Apple with the ticker symbol AAPL. It looks like they're set to release their next generation of the Apple TV this fall. Now, if you're not up on Apple TV, it seems to be a hot item out here, especially with a lot of these streaming services coming out nowadays. Um, Apple's partnered up with Showtime, and HBO, and actually looking to release a package similar to, Slim, to Sling TV, um, where they incorporate several different networks on there for one monthly low price. Now, Apple's already released their Apple Watch earlier this year, and um, they've just recently released their Apple Music, um, where they can try to compete with the likes of Spotify, Radio, Pandora, and the recently presented Tidal. Now, Apple also has Beats Music, but customers are actually able to transfer their service from the Beats Music to the Apple Music while keeping all their content intact. Apple stock is actually up 49% in the past three years and 27% in the past year. If your company is in need of digital representation, then Doc Designs is for you. Yes, Doc Designs is the number one digital clinic for web development. Go ahead and check out www.mydocdesigns.com. And next time you tell your friends who made your website, you can sell My Doctor Did. For our last bit of news today, we're going to talk about the financial sector as a whole. Um, the financial sector is looking to have some improvements because the Federal Reserve plans to increase their interest rates. Now, what happens is when uh, when the Fed increases the interest rates, the banks tend to increase their interest rates, which means that they're going to make more money on the loans that they hand out for you know mortgages, auto loans, etc. So that bodes well for the banks. Now, um, we mentioned about financial sector, but the financial ETFs are definitely something that's being looked at because instead of investing in individual stocks, you can invest in the industry as a whole. And a lot of um, up-and-coming investors, particularly millennials, are investing in these ETFs and index funds because they're easier to understand. Um, they have more diversification as well as some hedging because if one entity within the fund isn't performing well, another can kind of offset it. Um, some particularly well-known um, ETFs in the financial sector include the IYG, the XLF, as well as the VFH. So make sure to look those up and to see how they're doing. All of them are up at least 12% in the past year. 
Thank you for tuning in to this week's Market Mondays. We hope that the information was helpful. Um, make sure to always do your due diligence when investing and checking out the information. Of course, we're not advisors. We're simply here just to educate and pass along some information um, that just, you know, is kind of out there in the market and just what the trends are. Um, also, just sign up for our email list. Please make sure you sign up for our email list so you can be one of the first to sign up and get your initial consult with the PIN Consultant. Now, PIN Consulting is for your personal investment needs. Whenever you go to the ATM, you need a pin to get into your money to deposit or withdraw well for your investments you should also have a pin which is your personal investment needs but it doesn't have to be a key code your pin is going to be your strategy your education your knowledge everything compiled into one program one system that will help you in terms of what your goals are what you would like um, what your expectations and everything else so make sure you get your initial consultation it's free um, it's going to be with a pin consultant and we can go ahead and get you along your way to um, in investing and making sure that you make sound investments through education.